Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to explain the three types of radiation using examples from War Thunder. Let's get started. What is alpha radiation? Alpha radiation consists of large, heavy particles with a positive charge. It is highly dangerous if it enters the body, but its penetration power is very low. It can be blocked by a simple sheet of paper or even human skin. Now imagine an M4 Sherman firing an APCBC shell at a Chinu, a lightly armored vehicle. The M4 Sherman represents the source of alpha radiation. The APCBC shell represents alpha radiation. The Chinu represents the target exposed to radiation. If the Sherman fires at the Chinu, it will penetrate easily because the Chinu's armor is too thin. However, if the target were a better armored tank, like a Panther, the Sherman wouldn't be able to penetrate it from the front. This is just like alpha radiation. It can be very harmful if it enters the body, but it has such low penetration that it can be stopped easily. What is beta radiation? Beta radiation consists of smaller, faster particles that can penetrate more than alpha radiation, but their penetration is still limited. A thin sheet of aluminum or glass can block them. Now let's imagine an M46 Patton firing a heat FS shell at a panther. The M46 represents the source of beta radiation. The heat FS shell represents beta radiation. The panther is the target. The heat FS shell from the M46 can easily penetrate the panther because heat rounds have high penetration. However, if the target were a modern tank with ERA and composite armor, like the T90M, the heat round wouldn't penetrate at all because the armor would absorb its energy. The same applies to beta radiation. It penetrates more than alpha radiation, but is still weak enough to be stopped by thin materials. What is non-ionizing radiation? Non-ionizing radiation doesn't have enough energy to remove electrons from atoms, meaning it can heat materials but doesn't cause significant damage. Examples include radio waves, microwaves, and infrared radiation. Now, imagine a tank with a machine gun shooting at a AADA vehicle. The machine gun represents the source of non-ionizing radiation. The bullets represent non-ionizing radiation. The AAA vehicle is the target. If the machine gun fires at the AAA, it might cause some damage, but it won't destroy it since the bullets lack the energy and caliber to penetrate and destroy the vehicle. This is just like non-ionizing radiation. It can transfer energy, like heating materials, but it doesn't have enough power to cause significant damage. In summary, alpha radiation is like an APCBC shell. It can do serious damage but has very low penetration. Beta radiation is like a heat FS shell. It penetrates more but still has limits. Non-ionizing radiation is like machine gun bullets. It can cause some effects but lacks the power to destroy. This is just the first part of our radiation series. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.